Hello everyone, Inigo Galliano here from the Michael Tech of Studio London. Welcome back to our online Q&A. And today's question is coming from the UK, Jason. Jason wants to know if there is anything he could do to avoid stage fright. Sometimes I'm on stage and suddenly it hits me and I don't know what to do, I paralyze. Well, yes. I think we all have been there, haven't we? Uh, it's a horrible thing. I think it's any actor or anyone who is doing a, uh, a lecture or anything, worst nightmare, suddenly be hit by this paralyzing fear. Um, but yes, there is a way of getting out of that zone, of that place. But it takes a bit of practice. It's what I call the shifting muscle, because it's a muscle that allow us to shift. It's all about focus. We need to be very objective and stop connecting our work with our emotions and see everything from this focused perspective. So if I'm feeling negative emotions, if I'm not feeling okay, if I'm feeling insecure or blocked or whatever, I'm very connected with those emotions and from, more em from an emotional reaction to that, I'm not gonna get out of that place. So I need to sort of like hover above the situation and then I realize that I'm placing my focus on the wrong place because I'm placing my focus, I'm giving my attention to these thoughts, feelings, sensations that are telling me that this is not working out for whatever reason and I might feel that in my body here or in the stomach or I might feel dizzy or that my voice is not coming out or maybe I just feel shaky, or maybe I, I'm just frightened, whatever. It can be manifested in many different ways. So, first thing, acknowledge that that is only happening because your focus is not in the right place. You're focusing your energy, your attention on the wrong place. So, here's where the, when the shifting muscle comes into play. All you have to do I know it seems easy, it's not, it's not that easy because it takes practice, but all you have to do is to shift your attention from those thoughts, feelings and sensations into the very objective steps that you have to take in order to carry on with your work. Let me explain. I'm on stage. I paralyze, I freeze. And I don't know what to do. And then this voice is telling me, you're not a good actor. The audience are hating what you're doing. You should just leave, whatever, okay? If I try to fight that, if I fall into the narrative of those stories, I will be lost. Don't get emotionally involved with the narrative of the story or the narrative of the sensation, because sometimes it can be physical. And take that not pleasant feeling or thought as a reminder to shift your focus. So I shift my focus into being present. So I mentioned this in another video, tap to one of your physical senses, sense of touch, sense the floor under your feet, how the floor is supporting you. That takes you away from the thought. And once you're away, your focus is not in those thoughts and it's going to be pulling back all the time. So that's why I call it a muscle because you have to develop this focus ability to go from here, here, now. Physical senses, sense of smell, the smell of the room, of the stage, of the set. Now I'm here. Now from this place, I can start to make the steps to create. So, okay, what's the line I have to say? In my it's good morning, how are you? So now I'm going to look to my colleague and I'm going to say the line. And that will take me away from that negative place, that movement, that movement in time and space of just saying the line and listen to what I'm saying and paying attention to how what I'm saying makes me feel, makes him feel and how it alters the space around me. So this spatial awareness that we tap into through the physical senses and then go into our what's the next step what do I have to do I have to hit my mark and say that line just do that 
but I can't do that from that negative place. So first I have to shift my attention here. And believe me, this negative place is going to try to pull you back all the time. And sometimes we're so identified with the stories that those thoughts and sensations are telling us, our ego is so identified with it, that it's going to be very hard at the beginning to first even realize that we're there in that place. So that's why I call it a shift in muscle. Meditation is a great exercise to work on that muscle and all sort of acting exercises that we practice in our workshops and online sessions. But it, it is a muscle. It's nothing personal. It's just a muscle, a non-physical muscle that needs to be trained. And the first, the most, I think the quickest way of getting out of that place, physical sense, movement, which could be saying the line, hitting my mark, and making that movement, being aware of the space, and knowing how, paying attention to how this line that you're saying, or this movement, or this gesture that you're doing, affects you. How does it make you feel from the line, from the circumstances that are being created through this movement on stage, not from this place. It's, a, it's like going to the gym to make the muscle strong. At the beginning, you will keep going there, but it's practice, it's training, it's technique, okay? And then that's also very useful for all sorts of professions and personal life as well. Okay, Jason, I hope that helped. Send us your questions, everyone. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, send your questions to the email, which appears below, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.